Hi friends and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk all about my homeschool space. And I mean, it's what everyone wants to know, right? They want to see what's inside your homeschool room and where the magic happens and how you get it all done. And so in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. happy plan homeschool like I said we're gonna talk about my homeschool space and legit this is where I stand in 50% of when we're homeschooling and I'm teaching my kids and um, I have a whiteboard that goes here sometimes and we just homeschool in our kitchen slash dining room we have one big square in our home and it's our open layout we go from, we bounce from the living room to the kitchen, back to the living room, back to the kitchen. And let me turn you guys around and show you exactly how we do it and what works and doesn't work for us. Okay, so if I flipped you guys around exactly where I was sitting, this is what you would see. This is our dining room and we do a lot of schooling here. We have our kitchen here. Yes, there's dirty dishes because y'all, I wanted to be real with you guys. So here's our kitchen. We have glasses. All my children are outside with their dad. I have a little desk over here for my littles. We do house all of our like cute little projects and there's always like stuff going on for my littles that they do when I'm not showing them attention so they can, you know, have their own space. This door goes out to the garage. We have our piano. That is our homeschool clothes. I have a video on my channel I'll link below talking all about how we store our stuff. The other 50% happens right here. This table does not stay here the whole time. It's our puzzle table and it's summertime, so we're always doing a puzzle. We go in, we have this cute little sign my kids made for my in-laws when they were here. And this is like a command center for us, I would say. I'll change this out and we'll do science related stuff. The first three weeks of school, it had our homeschool schedule on it for us to get used to what we were trying to do. And our pens and pencils stay here. Our calendar um, stays here. Today's July 30th. Um, not when you're seeing this, but when I'm filming it. Up here, I house these tiles that so my little can just grab this and play with it when she has a letter of the week or something going on that needs tiles as well as all of our calendar pieces for this go on the bottom this side of the little bookshelf i have my diffuser a plant alexa is there i should not have said her name um, pencils, pens. One thing that I bought this year for me was these fun erasable pens and I didn't love them. So I gave them to my kids and my kids love them. If you like ballpoint pens, you'll love these. Like that's literally the only problem. I'm not a ballpoint pen kind of a gal. So they didn't work for me, but they work great. I'll put that there. And so I would definitely suggest those. So that is that. In this bookshelf, um, we house kind of a hodgepodge of things. We have my littles reading curriculum, and then also my third grader is reading through some of the fourth year um, readers. And so they stay here. Down below, again, is all of my, Dylan is my five-year-old, all of their curriculum. So we again, it says math. We have rooted in reading, which is R-I-R, R-I-R. And in here, I just have some things to keep my three-year-old busy. I have ABC, she's doing letter of the week. And you can see that in my past videos of all of the curriculum that my kids are doing, as well as my three-year-old's a letter of the week stuff and it just goes through all of the ABCs and these are from Confessions of a Homeschooler. So she does these periodically when she wants to. I have our history or sorry science curriculum that I'm doing with um, my two littles and then rooted in reading just 
activities, basically all for my littles, stay on this bookshelf. Oop, and I knocked it over. So that will go back up there. I have our history down below of resources that we use. My son seriously loves these Welcome to the Museum books and he'll stare at them and read them all day long. However, they're hard for me because to store them. And so I've been hesitant to buy any more, but we used the Botanical Botanicum book last year when we did creation. And I mean, he just loves it. We love the map one. We use that all the time for geography and there's just some more history and map books. This is my Kinder's little white plane slash magnet board that she uses with her learning all about reading, as well as these two house um, flashcards. So these are her flashcards for level one. I have just some gel pins that are my daughter's for this year, as well as then, so that's my five-year-old. This one is my three-year-old. It has some extra magnets and flashcards in it as well as these always get stuck somewhere around the house for her leapfrog ABC stuff. So that's what we store on that shelf. Moving on over is my Biggs independent reading and the books that they have for this year that I'll probably still continue to add to. I also keep my uh, markers here for the as I drop it chalk pins there so I can easily change that out and the baby doesn't know about those yet so those work and the bottom one is just a bunch of resources that my kids can pick up anytime it's all of our Usborne collections of the big book series lift the flaps animal science nature all the things that I want them to have easily available to them Coming on over, this is the big bookshelf that houses basically everything we have that I need for this school year is on this bookshelf. Um, let's see, at the top, we have some globes. You'll, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see our, this fun medieval castle from Melissa and Doug. That was super fun. And have this like little wooden sign. And of course my three-year-old wrote, wrote all over it. So it just was perfect because it says strive for perfect um, progress, not perfection. These are all of our nature books and journals and resources. And then I even have, I need to find uh, something to collect them all in, but just some nature key things that we've used in the past are here. This is my, Harry Potter wand and I use it when I have the whiteboard out or I'm trying to like say something to the kids to pay attention. Next up we have this book which is our like Bible. These I want to use at the end of the year. These are all my teacher manuals there. Stuff that I only I only I am allowed on the top shelf. Coming down we have our morning menus, turn in pile as well as just some dry erase boards that I will get out periodically that I want to teach the kids something. We keep all of our grammar and English dictionaries and stuff here on this shelf. Coming on down, we have the pencil sharpener Bible curriculum. This book is from, oh, sorry, last year, but I haven't put it away yet. So there's that. More of these metal tin and the top one has all of my dry erase pens and erasers. And then this one has more like markers and Sharpies and calligraphy pens and stuff. So when I'm doing poster boards, and I will show you, I literally store right behind this bookshelf where I store a whiteboard. Coming down, we have our books. So these are all read aloud books that the kids will pick throughout the year. Um, and then a couple books are on there that I want to do book um, club with my oldest. We have not finished The Green Ember. We started it last year and we just haven't finished it. And then I have our 100 hymn stories because we do do a hymn study as well as a poetry 
um, of the day, which we don't pull out every day, but we do definitely use it throughout the year. So it's handy. These picture books are all the rooted in reading curriculum off in, um, teachers pay te teachers. I will definitely link that below by Amy Lemons. I love it. So those get us through October. The bottom shelf, you can see like this bookshelf has some wear and tear. It has been well loved. The bottom shelf is things that my kids use all the time. So I have our drawing how to books. My daughter, Lily is my oldest. We have our writing books. We have Jumpstart, which is smeared off, but that's all of that curriculum. Well, with my son. On this side, we have our journal writing, which I posted last Friday about our um, Jumpstart curriculum. This is also something I should have added. It's our journal, journal writing. Um, we do that a couple times a week, as well as then art books that I haven't quite got out yet for the kids are there so that's the majority of everything and you can tell like between these two bookshelves is where we get all the things done one thing oh, i okay. forgot to mention that i said i was going to was where we store our white clean board and that's behind this lovely bookshelf so i literally my curtains help hide it have this white clean board the picture is um from a directive drawing. However, I just pull it out during the week and it stays out during the week, just not the weekends. And I store it right over here and I'll show you exactly where. So I store that right there and it stays there all week. And then I just move it behind my bookshelf during the weekend or if we have company or someone over for dinner. And I love this white clean board. It houses anchor charts like you see for this directive drawing as well as it has the white clean where we do our fix it grammar and then behind here as well i store you guys i'm a secret hider of all the things i store if i can move this one handed other anchor charts just right there on the wall and i can get them when needed However, if you saw uh, about a month ago, I had our history curriculum and that is stored right here in our living room. We do our history curriculum in our living room because it works for everyone just to go around the big coffee table and draw or do whatever they need to do. So that is stored here. And that is really nice to have it like just blend in with my decor. Next up, we have the clothes and I will turn on the light. I did a homeschool clean out with me. And again, like I did not pre-clean guys, I am sorry, but you can see it needs to be a little bit cleaned out, but I do know all the bins and stuff and that art and homeschool supplies. This is all of our not used curriculum as well as upcoming curriculum, notebooks and extra paper. My girls is Play-Doh. All of her activity books are here. This is all four of them. We have dot to dots. We have color by number. All of their things that they are coloring books, all the things are housed right here. We have art. We have extra art and paper back there. The computer where my kids do their math at and typing. And then just, just all the things y'all. Printer is here, which I have gotten a new one and I have not unboxed it yet. I'm so excited. So that houses all of it. And that is our homeschool space. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really fun homeschooling tour and give you guys some ideas of how to store your stuff in your home. I would love to know, do you guys homeschool in your dining room or in your main space of your home? Leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, friends.